and welcome back to the Mavis and Mankwe YouTube channel. We're just going to be joined by Mavis and we're going to discuss the importance of keeping our work and social life balanced. So come on, let's Hi, hello. hello. How are you? Yeah. Nice. Nice. How are you? Thank Thank you. It's very warm outside. So Ooh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice to hear from us. Yeah, it's a lot cooler in here. Yes. So, yeah. discuss with me your work and social life balance. What are your main tips? Oh, life and social work balance. Hey, it's about getting it right. It's about enjoying yourself. It's about knowing when to switch off. And most importantly, having fun. That's my work life balance. Yeah. I've answered all your questions. We're finished. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, those are some great tips. So, what, what would you say is the most important one for anyone who's struggling with the balance? I think one of the main things that we need to do for work-life balance is to be able to have a team and to delegate. Once you're able to delegate in your team, that will can help you to have more time for yourself so that you can basically plan yourself, you can have that work-life balance. A lot of businesses that I see, they're trying to do everything. They're firefighting, they're sorting out the photocopying machine, they're trying to sort out staff. Then when they're at home, they're trying to juggle their kind of personal life at home as well. And actually, they need to be able to balance it out. And that is, can be quite hard and quite daunting, especially when there's so many things happening at the same time and everything is a priority. So what I would say for the work-life balance is definitely delegation, get someone on your team. And also you need to be able to prioritize. You know, each day when I wake up, I prioritize and go, is this really important? Can it wait till next week? Um, you know, and if it can, when is it going to happen? And when it comes to the work-life balance, it's about switching off where you can. It's very hard for entrepreneurs to switch off because your mind is going all the time. But you have to be able to switch off and to say, you know, today it's about me having that personal space, looking after myself. Whether it's reading a book, I like to do lots of reading, or just going out and walking around the park and getting that fresh air. Because sometimes, you know, the work-life balance doesn't have to be anything, you know, drastic, but it needs to just be normal things that you would do, like going to the park, going for a walk, you know, and having fun with friends as well. And then when it's time to go back to work, you feel refreshed, revived, and ready to continue. Well, I was just going to ask you, what's your favourite thing to do in your social time? Oh, recently, it's very interesting quite recently obviously we've had the covid and we've really been at home for such a long time i've decided that we're going to be going out and eating going out going to different restaurants trying out different food, foods from all over the world and basically commenting on them so that's something that i'm really looking forward to do good i'm glad so we'll see mavis in a restaurant near you sometime soon and those are our tips for well those are mavis's tips for keeping a work and social life balance thank you for watching Thank you.